So ace of blue paper, question seven to nine. Question seven. So question seven is super simple if you understand a little bit about the law of conservation of energy. And that law states that in a closed system, the total energy remains constant over time. That is that total energy is conserved. So if you're unfamiliar with this law, I would suggest reading up on it and especially sort of understanding what it means by closed system. But basically we know that this is a closed system because the uh, there are no frictional forces present as told to us by the stem and also that the slide slot is in a fixed position so the ball is not going to lose any of its total mechanical energy into the slide slot in an attempt to move it. So therefore we can say that since this is a closed system the total energy will remain constant over time and therefore the correct answer is C. Question 8. The decrease in gravitational potential energy of the ball as a size from point R to point T is closest to. So find the uh, change in gravitational potential energy. We use the following formula. So gravitational potential energy is equal to the mass times the gravity times the change in height. Um, so basically from there we have to find out the change in height. Um, the most important thing to note is that we always measure the change in height from the center of the ball. So, um, but once you know that, it's pretty simple. So if we're measuring it from the center of the ball, um, we go, it is one plus six. So therefore seven centimeters. So that is our change in height. <clears throat> um, so from there, we can just plug in the numbers. Um, just remembering that everything has to be in, in meters and kilograms, etc. So we get 0 0.05 or 50 grams from the stem times 10 times 0 0.07, which gives us uh, five times 10 to the negative two times 10 times seven times 10 to the negative two. So just remembering to convert to scientific notation where convenient, um, 10 to negative 4 times 10 is equal to 35 times 10 to negative 3, which is equal to 3.5 times 10 to negative 2. So therefore the correct answer is C. So question 9. Question 9 is pretty similar to question 7. However, the only difference is that the slide slot is now no longer in a fixed position. It can move freely horizontally along the table. So how does that affect uh, the total mechanical energy of our ball? Well, if you take a look back up at this diagram, well, our ball is still going, going to go down and some of its energy is going to be converted into kinetic energy. It's going to lose some of that gravitational potential energy. But now <clears throat> some of its energy is also going to be imparted upon the slide slot. So the slide slot is going to move this way as the ball slides down, which means that because the ball is going to lose some of its energy, the total mechanical energy of the ball will decrease. So it's a very simple answer. Um, it's sort of just, again, applying that sort of knowledge of what a closed system is and therefore how that's going to affect the total mechanical energy of that ball. So the correct answer in that case is A, that um, the total mechanical energy of the ball decreases.